Dear students, welcome you all to EPG Patsala. In this model, we are going to discuss bibliography, endnote, footnote, appendix, abstract and article writing. Endnote. Endnote means citing a particular source and small explanation about a particular content in the research paper or research thesis at the end. It is arranged sequentially in relation to where the reference appears in the paper. Footnote. Footnote means that writing notes or particular source about a particular content at the end of the page of the thesis or research paper. Advantages of using EndNotes EndNotes gives clarity about a particular content. It gives brief idea about the text. Disadvantages of using EndNotes If you want to look at the text of a particular EndNote, we have to refer entire research paper. We have remember both chapter number and EndNote number to find out correct one. Sometimes endnotes may carry a negative understanding. Advantages of using footnotes Easy identification of source note is possible in endnote. It is less time consuming to refer by linking the footnote and the subject of the text. Footnotes are automatically created when typing pages. Disadvantages of using footnotes the overall look of the page may be affected due to footnotes. When there are tables and charts, then we must decide where the footnotes should appear. When the footnotes are too long, it may dominate the page. Things are to keep in mind when considering using either endnotes or footnotes in your research paper. Footnotes must be numbered continuously, then only easy identification is possible. It is better to avoid lengthy footnote. The footnote is considered as outdated in academic writing, endnote is prepared. Abstract The abstract of an article is the brief content of the full paper. The need for the study, objectives of the study and the conclusion of the study must be given. How to write article? First one, framing of research question. Based on the research questions, the objectives of the study are framed. The background and the need for the study must be quoted strongly with available statistics and information. Second one, structure of the paper. Usually, the structure of the paper includes the abstract, introduction, review of literature, methodology, results and discussion, conclusion and suggestion references. The basic structure of a typical research paper is the sequence of introduction, methods, results and discussion, sometimes abbreviated as IMRAD. In the introduction part, write clearly the background and need for the study. State the broad objectives of the study, specific objectives of the study and hypothesis of the study. Review of literature. It consists of earlier studies in the stated research area. Relevant review of literature must be given in respective of headings which must in accordance with the objectives of the study. Methodology. It consists of the selection of the study area or selection of the research problem, sources of data, period of the study, statistical tools used and estimation issues, definition of the terms used and limitations of the study. Results and discussion. It must include the findings of the study and discussion of the research paper. The research findings of the study must be arranged in accordance with the objectives of the study. The discussion of the findings include comparing of current findings with earlier findings. Summary and conclusion Summarize the findings of the study and write the conclusion and suggestion without repetition and opt to the society based on the empirical findings of the study. Table 1 Typical structure of a research paper. It includes introduction, state what is the reason for selecting the research problem, state what is the gap in the current knowledge, state what are the objectives of the study, 
then state methodology, then selection of the study area and rationale for studying a particular problem, identify and specify the population, frame the sampling design, then identify variables based on earlier studies, and then state the sources of data, method of data collection, and period of the study, and then write the estimation issues and specify the models, and then discuss the results, and then report on data collection and recruitment, and then describe participants' demographic, clinical, or condition, etc., and so on. Present the research findings with comparison of earlier studies. Present secondary findings, that is secondary outcomes, subgroup analysis, etc. Present the implication of the present study. Analyze the strength and weakness of the study. State the scope for the future research. Then, what are all the 20 steps to write a research article? Then, first one, decide the list of authors. First, decide the list of authors based on their contribution to the research work. The corresponding and co-authors must be decided. Then second one is, it is better to write before the experiments are complete. When we do like this, some new ideas may come. Then third one is, decide the time to publish. Whether the publication will reflect the complete story, decide is it time to publish. Then fourth one, decide the title and abstract. The title of the study should capture the central theme of the research paper. The abstract should highlight the main content of the study. Then fifth one, decide about the format of the study. There are three basic formats for peer-reviewed research papers. Then first one, full length of papers. It uses complete introduction, review of literature, methodology and results and discussion. This format is called IMRAD format. Then second one is short communications. This type of research paper may not be written as full length paper. It is not very comprehensive. It is only a brief paper but will highlight the full length paper. These papers also make a significant contribution to the literature. Their length will be set by the journal but it is usually 3500 words or less or will contain up to two tables and figures. Unlike full papers, methods, results and discussions may be combined into a single section. Then rapid communications, these types of articles will give only hot findings of the study. The next one is select the journal. It must be reviewed journal and UGC approved journal and very quality journal. Focus, what is the discipline of the journal? For example, is it clinical or basic or theoretical or applied? Then indexing. See that whether the journal is indexed in main electronic databases. Is it indexed in Google Scholar, Thomson Reuters, Medline, Biological Abstracts, Chemical Abstracts or Current Contents Scopus. Then availability. Whether the journal is available in both print and online. Whether the journal has high impact factor and world level. Reputation whether it is reputed journal or not. Then format. See the format of the text of the selected journal. See the font size, font type and style. Refer the instructions to the authors in the journal. Then charges. Some journals are the paid journals. Check for the charges of the journals. Some journals receive charges only for processing the articles. Then next one, start to write the full paper as in the stated format of the selected journal. The next step is frame the tables, figures and ligands. And the next one, document the first draft. Write the first draft of the entire manuscript. And the next one, revise the manuscript. 
first see that is there any gap in the paper and check for continuity and then make changes if it is needed and then polish the text and check for correct grammar and spelling then format the document check the references then next one is prefer the final illustrations that is ensure that your tables figures and leakings are complete clear self contained and in the format required by the journal do not allow any chance for misunderstanding then next step is get feedback on your manuscript and then revise your manuscript again then next step is submit the manuscript to the editor then next one is follow the submission and the reviewers commands if the reviewers ask to recorrect and resubmit the paper do the needful then bibliography each and every research work is based on a set of literatures which forms the foundation for the research theme this includes identification of the broader area of research and then narrow downing the specific research issues which are not yet tried by other researchers further the literatures are helpful for using appropriate tools of analysis so bibliography is an alphabetical catalog of different literatures which are used in the research the references can be classified in to journals books magazines newspapers research studies etc the journal article includes authors title of the article name of the journal volume of the journal issue number of the volume year of publication from to numbers of the pages of the article a few examples of journal publications are presented below if the number of authors is more than 2 it is preferable to use it all after the first author for example panni selvam r and odaya sang title of the journal and then uh, title of the article and then title of the journal then volume number then year and then page number others are the examples given below then books article the books article if some of the items from a book are referred in a research the format to include that book in the research report is as given below first it must others name must come and then title of the book then name of the publisher and then place of publication and then year of publication some of the examples are given below first name of the author kobala krishnan and then title of the book and then place of publication year then articles in a book the format of an article in a book is as shown below and it is demonstrated with some sample article name of the authors title of the article title of the book name of the editor name of the publisher pages year of publication so the examples are given below then government publications it must include the name of the publishers that is for example ministry of law government of india the copyright act 14 of 1957 delhi the manager of publications then year and then page number then conference articles the format of an article in a conference proceeding is given below it is demonstrated with some sample articles so it must include first the name of the author title of the articles name of the conference proceedings place of the conference date month year of the conference pages if applicable in some conferences only abstracts of the article will be published in which case pages are not applicable the examples are given below articles in newspapers so the articles in newspapers first it must have the name and then title and then name of the newspaper then volume number page and then month and year and then the some of the examples are given below 
suppose more than one item of others in that case the references must be given like this that is panni selvam that is name of the author efficient that is uh, title of the article and then volume number year then page number then research studies some of the examples are given for research studies first it, the name of the author must come and then title of the article and then uh, thesis and then submitted to which university and then place and then year month some of the sample references are given when the contribution of others is referred in the main text of the report the respective authors names and year of publication separated by comma are enclosed when parenthesis immediately after the point of reference if the name of the author of a book article is part of a sentence then the year of publication of the article alone should be enclosed within parenthesis immediately after the name of the authors the example is given if the article corresponding to the location indicated by star in the main text of a report is to be shown as footnotes then the same is presented as given below at the bottom of the respective pages the example is given below appendices each and every chapter of the text in a research report should be brief so as to enable the readers to have quick reference of its content appendices help to achieve such quick references of the content of each chapter of the report appendices are placed at the end of the report in a chapter if there is any material whose absence within that chapter itself does not affect the flow of reading and graphs of the content then it can be presented at the end of the report under the heading appendices the types of material which are to be placed under appendices are listed below first one the work of any past research which is used in the current report as a module then second one the format of the questionnaire then third one original data intermediate tables of any algorithm which are used in the report then next one some micro level charts and figures and then long tables and then organizational details let us summarize the end note food note advantages of end note food note how to write references appendix and how to write an article etc were discussed the above contents are necessary to write a research report or research paper the end note and food note give an idea about the main text of the research paper without bibliography a research paper or research report could not be com complete the appendix in a research paper helps to include additional information in a research paper or research report the method of writing of an article give a brief idea to write an article for the detailed information and model refer many web based resources thank you